What's going on there guys? Good evening. The Earthmaster here uh, with an update video on this Monday evening, January 10th, 2022, about 5.17 p.m. California time. And looking at the latest quake out there, a uh, looks as though it's a 6.4 earthquake around the Cyprus region of the uh, Mediterranean Sea area. Looks like uh, that coming in from the EMSC just a short time ago. Still waiting on the USGS to issue their data or at least some type of preliminary earthquake data because uh, the EMSC is definitely holding strong at the 6.4 level. Uh, looking at the USGS, they do have on the map a listed 4.4, but that's a ways away from the uh, 6.4 epicenter, which is uh, further to the south and to the east. There's the 4.4 just coming into the EMSC. Uh, site, but then again, USGS, little on the slow side. Oh, once again, surprise, surprise, right? So we're going to go with the EMSC model tonight. And uh, 6.4 was felt out there in that region. And uh, looks like, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get some more info on this earthquake here. Uh, looks like it has not been reviewed by a seismologist here on the EMSC uh, model. But looking at the maps, kind of show you exactly where it's at when it comes to the... Uh, uh, specifics of the epicenter right here back out just a tad bit you can see around the Cyprus area uh, Mediterranean Sea region getting in on a little bit of earthquake activity today for sure pretty large earthquake in that region if that holds true with that magnitude uh, although we have been seeing a little uptick in uh, earthquake activity bouncing back and forth here uh, we did have a, a 5.2 around the Indonesia area and then that pretty much skipped this entire region. Uh, and we had a uh, almost a six-pointer in the northern mid-Atlantic ridge just a couple hours ago. That one, uh, 10 kilometers for the depth. And now a uh, much larger magnitude uh, showing up on the EMSC model. So just kind of waiting to see what the USGS puts out for this earthquake. Uh, looking at the rest of the globe here, pretty active, folks. If you look at the majority of movement all over the map, uh, it's, uh, it's, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see a whole lot is going on. A lot of shuffling going on out here around the New Zealand area and uh, North America and South America regions. Let's look at the New Zealand area. Uh, north there where they had a, um, a six point, uh, what was that magnitude here? Let's go back and look at that uh, over the last seven days in this region. It was just yesterday, but past that uh, 24 hour period, 6.2 earthquake down here along the Kermadec Trench, pretty shallow movement. Looking at the earthquake activity today, you can see movement still continuing and some deeper earthquake activity ramping up around the Fiji Islands area. Look at that movement up here. Uh, had a 5.7 deep, 4.9 deep as well, almost 600 kilometers for, these, uh, for the depth of these earthquakes. Look at that one, 4.8, almost 600 kilometers as well. Uh, talking about a lot of plate adjustment uh, at the moment, and it's something to watch pretty closely, folks, whenever we see a massive amount of movement uh, like that taking place around the Fiji Islands area. We, uh, we're we cooking. We've got some business to uh, pay attention to. Uh, so watching, uh, watching the globe right now for any type of uh, uh, further movement. I'm still waiting on the USGS here to uh, issue this earthquake. Let's go ahead and refresh the EMSC model real quick. Uh, FYI, the stream is down. Not for sure what happened. Uh, went and got some food with, with Missy Mimi's. Come back and it's gone. Uh, stream went down. So having some funny business going on once again here with my computer system. I Somebody must not be happy with me. Well, once again, it seems to come in waves. Uh, it's been a while since I've had any issues with the computer uh, randomly resetting itself. But uh, <clears throat> apparently that happened again when I went to get some food. These guys have downgraded it to a 6.3. Either way, still a pretty large earthquake out there. I'm going to check out the tsunami uh, uh, warning page just to see if there's any info being put out. Nothing at all uh, from this, these folks. And still nothing from the USGS here. I mean, these guys are not with the program at all recently. I don't know if they got a bunch of interns or newbies they're trying to train, but they're doing it all wrong. Uh, they should at least put out the uh, preliminary earthquake data when an earthquake appears or when it happens. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm not for sure what's going on here. 
Let me double check and make sure EMSC here. I don't have the seismographs up right now, so it's kind of kind of uh, sketchy on if this is a real earthquake or not. Uh, I'm guessing it is. This one's been reviewed at 4.4. .4. Uh, let's see if I can see some seismographs around this area. I don't believe it's going to let me. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'll have to come back and look at this. But uh, for now, unless something changes, uh, 6.3 in the Cyprus region. Let's go ahead and check out. Since it was felt, I mean, it looks like a few folks reported fell in that earthquake. Uh, so we'll get back to that here in just a second. But uh, movement in South America region kicking up as well. Looks like a couple of... Uh, fours and some fives kicking up one of these earthquakes in here a pretty deep movement earthquake uh, down into the subduction zone at 146 kilometers and uh, movement up of course in the mid-atlantic range uh, mid-atlantic ridge i should say i've seen some earthquake activity way up here also in canada a 3.2 uh, up in the canada region at 18 kilometers uh, eastern part of the states here look pretty quiet a little bit of movement around the oklahoma area and a large push of uh, pressure through the uh, Intermountain West regions up along the Rockies. And uh, look at that. There's a bunch of activity along the West Coast, folks. Look at all that activity. It is enormous. Uh, and this is all magnitudes, but there's still a lot for the all magnitudes up and down the San Andreas Fault, all throughout the Bay Area, uh, including uh, looks like the Hayward Fault and the Calaveras Fault system, all showing uh, seismic increase in pressure. Also down here along the western part of the uh, state on the Pacific side, some activity here in the diamond shape in this area. A couple small microquakes around the Pinnacles area. And uh, man, just a lot of movement kicking up here. Still relatively quiet south of the Garlock Fault structure, although 1.7 kicking up here within the last hour. This one relatively deep, right uh, right around the Santa Monica Airport, it looks like. It's 17 kilometers there for that uh, earthquake. Um, and of course, the eastern part of Sierra Nevada, Ridgecrest northward. Uh, all up and down the Sierra is looking pretty active tonight. Uh, we're talking about Long Valley Super Volcano and Antelope Valley and all up through the Reno area. Uh, looks like a major push in pressure in this plate area. Also the uh, Tonopah region getting in on quite a bit of activity. There's that line of movement stretching up from the Nevada, Utah. Kind of working its way up into Wyoming as well. We haven't seen any... Uh, oh, there, there we go. 6.6 .6 magnitude quake folks is the big deal right now there is that earthquake 6.6 .6 in the cyprus area it's about time usgs put it out let's see if this has been reviewed or not checking this out here real quick has been reviewed by a seismologist and uh, it's pretty uh pretty large earthquake for that region for sure it looks everything at least for now looks to be in the green as 19.6 kilometers into the uh, plate boundary here it looks like uh, so activity uh, definitely ramping up for sure uh, tonight let's go ahead and cover the rest of the globe here real quick before we end the update video uh, and chat about the uh, uh, activity in the uh, states of course Yellowstone uh, looking pretty quiet for the most part not a whole lot of movement here in the Yellowstone area, some microquakes here reported on this map, but uh, overall, not really, uh, not really active here. Some loss of data too, looking uh, like a typical thing here at Yellowstone National Park. Not for sure what's going on, but they're definitely uh, like to uh, mess with the uh, data systems there. And uh, um, you know, I, I don't know. It's hard to say what's going on there with the loss of data. Uh, but man, look at this. Things just lighten up here globally for sure. Uh, West Coast, look at that. I just, I mean, I'm just, this is a lot. There's a lot of movement up and down the West Coast area, folks. Uh, trimmer map, I don't believe has been put out yet. Uh, these guys have upgraded it to a 6.5. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the trimmer map. I think that's going to be a little on the early side. They're showing zero epicenters. Normally it gets put out around the 6 o'clock time frame, so... All right, folks, I am going to jump off here. Live stream is down, FYI, but uh, I will be bringing it back up here shortly. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, there's not too many people that's going to keep this station down. It's going to keep coming up. Uh, there, at one point, there was uh, my computer was resetting a couple times a day. It's almost like somebody was playing a game with me and thought it was funny. Every time I'd go away from my computer, it'd restart. 
Uh, so I don't know. It's I just find it strange. So live stream will be back up here shortly, folks. Just FYI, and we'll continue to watch this earthquake movement along the west coast and the uh, activity taking place uh, globally right now. Uh, just a whole bunch of movement. You can see over here with the 6.6, .6, this was the first, first earthquake to hit. Um, I believe this 4.4 was here first. Um, yeah, it looks like it was here first. A little bit of earthquake activity uh, was prior to this stuff here in the, uh, or this earthquake here in the Cyprus region, uh, way up in the uh, area of north of Greece area. Looks like right on the border. Uh, so definitely a lot of heightened movement here, making its way westward. Of course, we've seen all that earthquake activity in the uh, uh, in the New Zealand area over the last couple of days. So a lot going on here, folks. Uh, I think this is just the beginning of getting into some some uh, some serious stuff here pretty soon. We'll be back a little bit later, folks, with the uh, live stream. So sit tight. We'll chat you guys in a little bit.